What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Kevin, aka Toying Around, and this is a review for the Star Wars The Black Series, Lucasfilm 50th Anniversary, Obi-Wan Kenobi from The Clone Wars. This is an exclusive to Target in the United States, and here in Canada it is an exclusive to Toys R Us. Uh, in the UK, somebody has it, I don't know who it is. Uh, please go ask Dan Who. Now, I recently had a chance to do a live event with Hasbro and Toys R Us where I did a live stream unboxing this entire wave. I had some awesome guests on and gave away some prizes, so please check out that video after this if you'd like. I've also done the review for Anakin from this wave as well, so he'll be making an appearance in a size comparison later on in this video. Do me a favor, if you like this review, if you like what I'm doing on the channel, give this video a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing if you haven't already. Let me know in the comments, do you like Obi-Wan Kenobi. Do you like this wave? Obi-Wan Kenobi is my favorite character in Star Wars, so I'm very excited to share this figure with you guys. Obviously, I've unboxed this in the video, but every figure in this wave is deserving of their own review because they just look so great. You can see the packaging here. It's done to emulate the original packaging from the 3.75 figure, uh, although that one did have a little bit more accessories. We can get into that later on. But the recreation of the packaging, I believe, is very faithful to the original. Uh, you have the clone helmet in the background, the Star Wars logo, and the Clone Wars. On the side here, we have some of the familiar art of Obi-Wan uh, that was also used in the original packaging. Up front, they're using the same Obi-Wan Kenobi font and writing, which is pretty awesome. And of course, on the other side, you have the Lucasfilm 50th Anniversary logo. And on the back, there's no bio or anything. It just shows a chronological timeline of the different... Uh, different eras of Star Wars movies and other properties coming out but overall this packaging looks fantastic let's get to the figure so now that I've taken Obi-Wan out of the box it was painful to do so because the packaging did look so good however um, you know it was unboxed on live stream so here we are we have him in his Clone Wars outfit we previously had a Clone Wars Obi-Wan, but that was based on the uh, Cartoon Network animation, which was which was pretty decent, but it was just an Obi-Wan head on regular regular clone body with like soft goods, uh, robe and cape, which was which was okay, but it wasn't really um, anything amazing. I think it was just kind of kid bashed together. This one uses the same head sculpt. I'll actually get into that later. Uh, in terms of accessories, this Obi-Wan just comes with a lightsaber much like Anakin uh, he doesn't come with any additional hands or anything so you you get your lightsaber which is pretty common you can see I kind of already bent it by accident which is rather unfortunate uh, but this does also have the peg that goes into the peg hole on Obi-Wan's belt for the powered down look I guess Getting in a little bit closer, uh, you can see the sculpt on this Obi-Wan head is the same one that's used on the previous General uh, Kenobi. It's the same head sculpt, but now with a better paint system using the photo reel, uh, you can get really incredible pictures with this head sculpt. Almost as if there's a little tiny Ewan McGregor in your collection, standing in your collection uh, with the Obi-Wan TV series in production and hopefully merchandise coming out in the future. I think using this technology, uh, there, it's very promising for the type of merchandise that will be coming out later on. It's, he's using the kind of Clone Wars armor that you see in Season 7. I know in earlier parts of the series, he doesn't really have the armor here. It's just the, the wrist part, and that had a logo on it, uh, I believe. But this one is more of the, I believe, Season, season 7 look with the full clone armor arms. You have the uh, logo on the back here. And still the familiar Obi-Wan Jedi beige robes underneath uh, without the cloak, obviously. And then you have uh, clone legs. These are the same clone legs that you would have on a clone trooper figure, except for there, there isn't a panel here on the upper thigh area. So sculpt-wise, I think this figure looks great. The paint, I mean, it's a little bit sloppy here at the bottom of the armor. Uh, the beige from the robe kind of bled on to the white part so if you have an option uh, to look at a few units before you pick it up uh, it might be the same across the board hopefully that's not the case so good luck and make sure you look out for that when you are picking up this figure but yeah I mean look at that head
If we go into the articulation, the head is on a, a ball joint on the top of the neck as well. The neck moves so you are able to get a little bit more sassy Kenobi poses and pictures if you need. It's like, oh, Anakin, what are you doing in this trailer? Who are you calling? Say hi to Padme for me. So you have that there. The upper armor is a little bit of a soft plastic. This is essentially like the, um, the updated clone buck. So it does have a little bit of a butterfly joint, which I love, and uh, I think it's necessary on almost all figures. So your arm can go straight as well as in a little bit with the soft armor. Um, this part here, the shoulder pad, is, is part of the arm, much like the other clone troopers, uh, but it does move with it. It doesn't have the bicep swivel here on this version, which is strange because the previous Obi-Wan uh, General Kenobi does have the bicep swivel with the older buck. Uh, this has a single jointed elbow right here with the little clone elbow piece that does kind of stick out when you have the elbow bent. So it goes in that much and you have a regular clone hand that rotates as, at the wrist there. For the ab crunch, it's just the ball joint here. Uh, out of the box, you can pretty much get it to go that far forward. And not that far back, but I guess you don't need him to. And a little bit of side to side action for some lightsaber swinging. The lower part of the robe here, uh, it has a slit on the side, the back and the other side, but unfortunately not in the front. Now I understand that that's the character design, uh, but which is a little bit unfortunate because you do have a little bit of limitation with moving the legs forward. Um, you kind of have to flip it up a bit. It is a soft plastic, so you can flip it up, but it kind of stays in form, so it's a little bit limiting, but you still can get some movement in there based on the uh, ability to have the, the side slits here. For the legs, you do have this upper thigh swivel. It is a single jointed knee uh, using the same lower parts of the Stormtrooper buck right here. It's the same thing except it doesn't have that thigh armor up here. And of course your ankle rockers that go side side forward. And backward. For the hands, like I said, there are no swappable hands, so you do have a C grip on his left and a trigger finger uh, hand on his right as well. So here I have the new Obi-Wan standing side to side with the previous Obi-Wan release. And you can see here it's a little bit strange, but he's a little bit shorter, slightly shorter than the previous one. Barely. And it could be the difference between putting clone legs on an Obi-Wan body and using a basically entire straight up clone body on this side. So the side by side comparisons, that's the height difference. The armor, he does look a little bit wider on this body, but that's mainly because the shoulder pads are just kind of out in the open. Whereas on the left one, the shoulder pads actually fit underneath the chest plating and armor. So I guess he looks a little bit less bulky there. Uh, the previous buck, uses the double jointed elbows and the one with the bicep swivel so you can see the joints the double joints here on the elbow plus you are able to rotate it here at the bicep so while it is an updated body we do uh, have that change in articulation as well and the knees on the older one also has the double jointed knee okay now looking at some size comparisons here's obi-wan next to the exclusive anakin and also the Clone Wars Ahsoka Tano. Here he is next to an SH Figuarts Anakin Skywalker and Obi-Wan Kenobi with custom robe made by CJ. Here's Kenobi next to a Gomez and Bo-Katan. And here he is next to a Mafax Michael Jordan and a Marvel Legends Frogman. And most importantly, here he is next to a 3.75 version of himself. So this Black Series exclusive is available to Target in the US and Toys R Us here in Canada. Um, do I love this figure? Yes, absolutely I do. I'm a huge Obi-Wan fan. 
I'm very excited to have a Clone Wars version of him and Anakin now in the same set, and I've been very fortunate to be able to do the Hasbro Live event and get these figures early to unbox and do a review, so again, thank you to Hasbro Canada. Um, would I like to see some more stuff come with this? Absolutely. Because the original one, uh, I don't know if everyone remembers, I believe he had a helmet and a jetpack, I believe, along with his lightsaber. Um, it would have been cool since they were recreating this specific set and the packaging if they could maybe also throw in a helmet. But that's just me, you know, if they just went that extra uh, little bit. But who knows what goes on behind the scenes. Um, this figure, the Black Series figure itself, is already really, really good. I mean, look at this face sculpt. I, If you look back on, like, the first Obi-Wan figure out in the Black Series compared to this one right here, uh, the advancements are incredible. They've... They're continuously trying to strive for better. So you can only imagine, like, in the future with the Obi-Wan series coming out, uh, what other stuff is going to be available. This head sculpt, I mean, the sculpt you see is there. The painting also brings it out. So it's already an improvement from this guy who looks a little bit flushed. But all in all, I'm really excited to have this figure in the collection and add it to my uh, Obi-Wan displays, especially with Anakin. Please make sure to check out the Anakin review after this one as well. I'm also working on reviews for Arc Trooper Echo and Clone Pilot Hawk, so make sure you look out for those. If you like what I did here today, please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel with notifications on. That way you won't miss when the next review goes up or when I go live to do more unboxings every Thursday night. I hope you did enjoy this review and enjoy this figure as much as I did. Thank you for watching and keep toying around. Peace!